Hello, fireworks. <laughs>to my channel my name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily where I talk about all sorts of fun crafty fibery goodness today is another pattern roundup video I was asking last regular podcast episode on some suggestions for what to do for today's video because um, I didn't have anything planned the past couple like in between video weeks I've had something planned and this time around I didn't and so I asked for some suggestions a lot of people said socks so I've been having these patterns kind of pulled and ready to go and sitting around so I thought this would be a great video to do especially with summer coming around and not everyone wants to carry around <laughs> big huge large projects um, so socks are always a great summer and traveling knitting project and also a great way to use up scraps so I thought I would combine the two into this video so for today's video we're going to be going through the top 15 scrappy sock patterns that I have pulled most if not all of these are in my Ravelry library already meaning I've purchased them or they were free so they're already in there or you get the drill. Um, so we're gonna jump on into that quickly but before we do there are a few places you can find me on the internet. The main one is birchandlilyfiber.com. You can also find me on Instagram at birch.and.lily and everything I talk about today, all the patterns, all the links to where you can find me, they're all down below in the description. So you, you saw me holding this up. Um, I've already got one sleeve sneaky peeky done on my uh, heritage quilt cardigan. I'm working on the second one right now and since it's just knitting in the round I thought it would be the perfect project to work on for this video because I'm just talking and putting pictures up on the screen. So if you hear a wee bit of clicking that is my knitting needles uh, <laughs> but it's just I don't know I like multitasking. I think I've said this many a time but if I can find a way to be able to knit while I'm doing something I'm going to. And so that's what we're doing today. So let's jump on in 15 patterns. There's a mixture of free and paid for. There's actually quite a few free patterns in this video, which is pretty exciting. And I did decide this time to also mention the cost of the pattern. I know that's something I haven't said before. Um, if you like that, let me know in the comments. If you don't, I won't do it in future videos, but uh, I thought that might be something uh, interesting to add as well, especially since there isn't a ton to say about socks. So yeah, anyways, I'm really rambling. <laughs> Let's jump on in. So the first pair of socks that I pulled, number one is the Esther Socks by Helena Dronin. These are a free pair of socks. Yay, free right off the bat. <laughs> um, but they're beautiful. I can think of so many different ways that you could use this pattern. Each little motif you could do in a different color of yarn. You could do the whole thing in two colors if you have some larger scraps. There's just so many endless possibilities with this one. And you could even take like some motifs in it and pull them out or just repeat like, say you were, oh, sorry, I have, I always print off photos because I use my Mac as my monitor to make sure that I'm in focus. And so then I can't, look stuff up because I film on my phone. So every single device I own is used. Um, so I print off photos, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, there's so many different motifs in here that I feel like you could pull um, one motif and just use that one endlessly throughout the pattern. You could do the socks as is. There's so many different ways that you can use these Aster socks. And I think that they are the perfect sock to start off this scrappy sock video. These socks come in two sizes, adult, medium, and large. And looking at my notes here, you're looking at approximately, um, they gave shoe sizes and then I kind of mathed out the um, measurements for them. So approximately a European size 39 and 42. That means nothing to me. Um, but that's about a 23 inch and 24 inch foot circumference. That is... Why did I write this so small? <laughs> that is about 58.45 centimeters and 61 centimeters foot circumference. Not a like sock pattern for the whole family, but 
I think it's a really beautiful one. Next pattern, um, oh gosh, I started knitting this one a while ago and I just really wasn't into it and I don't think it's the pattern. No, I know it's not the pattern. The pattern is stunning. I didn't pick colors for this one really well so at some point I should really cast on a new one and choose my colors more thoughtfully. Um, but this is the Bits and Bobs sock pattern. It's a pattern from Morgan Panic. This one costs $6.50 US dollars and it is also a fingering weight pattern. This one's also really fun. You could alternate between, and I think honestly, maybe I'll stop saying this because I think most of these patterns you could do this where you alternate between two different colors or use a large collection of scraps. I feel like there's endless possibilities with this pair of socks as well. Um, but it's nice because while you're doing some color work, there's also some break sections where you're just knitting some really wonderful squishy stockinette in between those beautiful color work sections that transition between all of your scrap colors. So I think it's kind of nice if you're not if you're not looking for a full color work sock like the Esther socks, this is a great one. And it comes in a lot of sizes from child to adult extra large. That's about six inches to 10 inches or 15.25 to 25 centimeters. I'm already getting warm under these lights. So we'll see how long this sweater lasts. I knew this was gonna happen, but I also didn't wanna wear a tank top on camera. So we'll see how this goes. Bits and Bob socks. They're wonderful. Let's move on to pair number three. The Sprocket socks are a pattern by Megan Nodecker. They are a beautiful pattern, kind of similar in a way to the Bits and Bob socks in the fact that they have like little break sections in between the color work to just knit some stockinette. But they have this really beautiful, simple, like one by one color work to transition between all of the colors. So if you're newer to color work socks, I think this would be a good way to start. You still obviously have to be mindful of your tension no matter how easy or hard the color work is, but I think this might be a great place to start. These socks are on Ravelry for 650 US dollars. They are a fingering weight sock and they come from sizes adult small to adult large. You're looking at about seven to nine inches or 18 to 23 centimeters in foot circumference. The the Scraptacular sock pattern is actually a three-in-one sock pattern. Um, so technically, I guess we have 17 patterns, scrappy sock patterns in this video if you look at it that way. But um, this sock pattern on Ravelry comes with three pat. Goodness, it's the day before July 4th and there are f going to be fireworks. Um, why they're going off when it's light out, I don't know but I'll try my best to edit them out. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, Scraptacular Socks by Carly Perrins. Like I said, there are three patterns on this Ravelry listing. So while it's listed for 850, I think it's a pretty good deal because you get the three beautiful scrappy sock patterns. They are all fingering weight patterns with adult sizes, small through, extra large and that's about six and a half inches to nine and a half inches circumference or 6.5 centimeters to 24.15 centimeters. Now I gotta pick my uh, piece of paper up for this one because like I said there's three patterns in this. Um, I really like well, all of them, all of these are beautiful, but there's one that looks almost like a leafy, like viney motif. That one's probably my favorite out of the set, but all of these are gorgeous. And I think there's so many fun ways you could use colors in these ones as well. And like I said, a really good thing for your buck because you get three patterns for $8. This is one of the few patterns I've pulled by the Noble Thread. I think there may be one other one in here, maybe two. I cannot fully remember, but the Le Gourmand socks are beautiful. These uh, have a whole bunch of little motifs going on in there. There's some striping, there's some 
almost looks like strawberry seeds. There's some little squares. There's, there's all sorts of fun stuff going on in here. And I think, again, there's so many different ways you could use color throughout. You could block the color based on the motif. You could do a couple rows of each color for each motif tons of different things that you could do with these socks. And this is another free pattern, which is super exciting. A, another free fingering weight sock pattern with endless possibilities. It comes in sizes small to adult large, about 8 inches to 10 inches circumference, or 20.3 centimeters to 25 centimeters in circumference. The next pair is a really beautiful blocky looking colorwork sock. Um, a lot of the ones that we've gone through so far are kind of intricate and delicate looking colorwork motifs where this one really packs a punch. These are the Scrappy Farmstead Socks, a pattern by Audrey Busby, and they are priced at five US dollars on Ravelry, another fingering weight sock. Um, I think this one could be really fun to use some variegated yarns in, where like with some of the other colorwork patterns, I think with how small the motifs are, they would be better suited for tonals or solid colors. This one, you can pull out some of those beautiful variegated skeins because each colorwork section is quite a large block. So you're not gonna lose definition in your colorwork or be unable to see like what's going on with the motif. I think while this, uh, while the sample rather is knit with alternating between like a main color and then all of your scrappy colors, you could also just do every single little ziggy zag section in a different color. I think that would look beautiful as well. Hello fireworks. <laughs> I just think there's a lot of options with this one. This pattern comes in sizes small to adult large. And unfortunately there are no measurements given and this one isn't in my Ravelry library so I couldn't like pull up the pattern and look for you. But there are some size options so I think it's a great one because of that. Another free sock pattern. This one is amazing. I think it was really popular last summer. It is a pattern from Summerlee Designs. She has some beautiful sock patterns and she does a lot of pattern bundles. Uh, kind of like the Scraptacular sock pattern bundle. This one isn't a pattern bundle, but it's free, so that's just fine by me. <laughs> These are the Weekend Shorty socks, and they're so pretty. I just love the really unique placement of the colors in this sock. It's different than a lot of other scrappy socks I've seen where they're using color work motifs and things like that. This one is just really color blocked and I think it makes for a really striking shorty sock. These are fingering weight as well and they come in so many sizes from toddler socks to adult extra large. You're looking at about four inches to ten inches in circumference and a range of about ten to twenty-five centimeters in circumference. I'm not sure I feel like there are a couple other free patterns from Summerlee. Definitely, I think her basic socks, but um, there are so many different Summerlee patterns that are color work and they're beautiful and they would also be great for using scraps. One that's coming to mind, and I couldn't tell you the name of it, but it's just a whole bunch of big dots throughout the socks. And oh my goodness, if you did like every single row of dots in a different color, that would be really cute too. But my favorites for sure are the Weekend Shorty socks and that's why they're in this video. Okay, number eight. These are the Summer Vibes socks by This Handmade Life. This Handmade Life is another one of my favorite sock pattern designers. Her socks are so reasonably priced. These ones are $3.50 US dollars. I think most of her patterns are $3.50 or they're free. So I would definitely recommend grabbing some of her patterns if you haven't already. But these Summer Vibes socks, are really cute. They are mostly one single color but then they have this really beautiful zigzaggy sort of design right in the middle, I guess at the arch of your foot that uses, oh gosh, I think three or four colors. Um, my printer only prints in black and white so I'm looking at my photo and I can't fully tell. But again, I think there's so many ways that you could do this. Um, I know on the socks themselves they like start on one color, go all the way to the middle color, and then go back to your starting color, but you could do every single zigzag a different color. There's a lot of options with this one as well. The pattern comes in two sizes, adult, medium, and large. 
about an 8 inch and 9 inch foot circumference or 20 and 23 centimeters in foot circumference and they are another pair of fingering weight socks. Okay we haven't had any lace in this video yet but these socks tick that box. They're another pair from the Noble Thread. These are the Fairy Glen socks and they are also free. They are a fingering weight pattern with four different sizes from about an 8 inch circumference to a 10 inch circumference or about 20 to 25 centimeters. They alternate between these really pretty sections. I think it's a feather and fan lace. Nope, I lied. Not feather and fan. It's like a squiggly lace almost. And so they alternate between that and then really pretty like pearl ridge sections. So Again, I think there's so much you could do with this. Um, you could have every single pearl ridge section a different color. You could keep the pearl sections the same. Um, lots of options with this one, but I think it's something a little bit more delicate and just another different way to use up some of those scraps. Also a great pair of socks for the spring and summer because they have the lace in them so they're gonna be a little bit airier. You could knit them as a shorty pair of socks too. I feel like as with all sock patterns, knit them to your preference, make them perfect for you. Socks are so customizable in that way. Um, these patterns are really just a starting point and a guideline on how to get started with the design that you see in the photo. Another pattern from Megan Nodecker, these are the Ocean Drive socks. And they have a really pretty like scallopy yeah, I scallop is the word. I always mix up scallops and picos, um, but these are definitely scallop patterned socks. They are priced at $650 US dollars, and they are another fingering weight pair of socks. They are priced at $650 US dollars, and they are another pair of fingering weight socks. I think these ones could be fun to do with variegated yarn as well, but you'd also want to be mindful that it's not too variegated so you don't lose the little points of those scallops. See, I lost it again. I was going to say picos. <laughs> but you want to make sure that you don't lose that definition because those points are just one small little stitch. If the colors you've chosen are too close together, you might lose that definition. But otherwise, I feel like you can play with a lot of fun different yarns with these. They come in sizes adult small through large. You're looking at about 7 inches to 9 inches circumference or 18 centimeters to 23 centimeters. Another free pair. Like I said, there's so many free scratch sock patterns out there it's crazy um so if you don't have the money to spend at this point in time I'm so thankful that I'm able to give uh, lots of different options for different price points in this video these are the Nordic socks by Morgan Kornitz I really hope I said that last name right <laughs> um, and like I said free pattern they are fingering weight and they come in sizes small through adult large about seven and a quarter inches to nine inches or 18.5 centimeters to 23 centimeters circumference. And these socks kind of mimic some of the color work in the previous like beginning socks that we talked about, but it's really blocky and I think it's really cool. So I don't know, it, it just makes for a really striking sock. I think these would be beautiful in black and white. I also think they would be beautiful again doing every single motif in a different color or like blocking off maybe two motifs in one color then another two. So, there's so many options. I feel like I've said that a thousand times <laughs> recording this video already but there are so many options for scrappy socks. It's just so nice to have these base patterns that you can then look at and let your mind run free and decide what you want to do with them. Okay next we're jumping into two patterns from the Crazy Sock Lady. These are some of her newer patterns and something about them really drew me in. I knew right away when I saw them that I wanted to purchase the patterns and so they are in my Ravelry library. I haven't knit them yet but I think they're gorgeous and I think there's so many things that you can do with them. So the first pattern is the Love Story socks. These ones, like I said, Crazy Sock Lady designs and they are priced at six US dollars. They do remind me a little bit of the Fairy Glen socks but they're definitely not as lacy and the stripe sections are thinner. So there is 
room to do tons of color changes. Or you can do as Kay has here in the sample sock and change the colors every couple stripes. Something else that's really fun about this pattern, um, and I'm not sure if the next one includes it as well, both of them include video tutorials for sure, but this pattern includes instructions on how Kay weaves in ends as she's going so that when you're knitting these scrappy socks, you don't have to deal with the 30 or 40 ends <laughs> at the end of the pattern. You can weave in those ends as you're knitting. These socks come in three different adult sizes from a small to a large about 8 inches to 11 inches in circumference. It's about 20 to 28 centimeters. Like I said, we have two crazy sock lady patterns to talk about today. The second pair are the candy cane stripes socks. I think these were the first pattern she came out with when she was kind of getting back into designing and I think they're so unique. A very simple but striking pattern. I love the colors she used in her sample but again there's so many different options you could do with this and it's very simple color work. Um, I'm trying to see like you would have floats but it doesn't look I'm, I don't know which size this pattern is knit so I'm assuming it would change depending on the size you knit but it doesn't look like you have floats that are more than like four stitches so well, you're gonna have to pay attention obviously to your tension and make sure that you're not knitting your sock too tight. It's not too bad. It's not big huge long like eight or nine stitch floats that then you have to worry about catching your floats on a tiny circumference and then it's just so easy to get a tight sock. Really easy color work, really easy floats. I also love how Kay has kind of started to come out with patterns where the patterning is on the like just below the cuff of the sock and then just before you start the toe. So you have a really fun section in the middle where you can put in a nice heel flapping gusset, not worry about it interrupting your patterning or anything and get some really simple quick stockinette in before you get back into the pattern and you're all excited to finish the sock. I feel like when the patterning is that way, it's really hard to get bogged down and bored halfway through the sock because you know you have color work coming at the end and then toes always go super fast. So this pattern is also six US dollars. It's also fingering weight and like I said same sizes as last pattern small through adult large 8 to 11 inches circumference or 20 to 28 centimeters and you've got video tutorials. You've got everything you could possibly need to knit these socks. The Ribby Stripey socks hilarious name, um, are a new pattern that I found literally, I think this morning, and they are a pattern from Jennifer, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, I'm so sorry, Jennifer Bolo? Bo Bolo? I'm going with that, it's on the screen, um, and it'll be linked down below as well. These are a really pretty pattern that's priced at six US dollars, and very simple, ribbing and color changes, nothing too complicated for a beginner sock knitter. I think this would be a great one. Now the train is going. What a fun video. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's color changes every two rows, so you wouldn't even have to worry about, well, you'd still have to weave in some ends, but three every three row, how do I say this? <laughs> the color, there's three rows of one alternating with one color stripe, I guess. So every segment is six stripes. That's a better way to put it. And in those six stripes, you're using two colors. So in between, like every color switch, you've got two rows, let's say white, two rows black, two rows white, two rows black. You don't have to cut your ends there. You can just carry them. So that's nice because that kind of cuts down on the amount of end weaving you have. You're only gonna have four ends for each, or no, not even four ends because one color is carried throughout. So you're only going to have two ends for each section. This is getting really confusing. If you can see the photo right now, you see what I'm talking about. You're not going to have tons of ends because of how this pattern is written. Because the color changes are pretty often, you can carry a lot of your ends or carry your yarn up the sock and you don't have to worry about ends. 
I'm gonna stop talking about this because I'm making it so much more confusing than it should be. But it's a beautiful scrap piece sock pattern that I think would be great for beginners. <laughs> it's a fingering weight pattern. It comes from sizes adult small through adult large. You're looking at seven to nine inches circumference or about 18 to 23 centimeters circumference. Okay. We are down to the final pattern, and this is the only DK pattern that I pulled, but I pulled it for good reason. I think it's a great way to use up scraps. This is the Candy Mountain Double Stranded Pattern by Twin Stitches Designs. You might also know her as Julie Ann on Instagram, and it's a beautiful pattern that uses yarn held double. So because of that, you have even more options because you could hold two different completely different yarn strands together. It doesn't have to be from the same ball. You could like marl the whole sock if you really wanted to, which marling is so pretty. I love it. So I feel like you have even more options than any of the other socks because you can marl. Um, but it's a really beautiful, simple color work pattern. Another one where you've got lots of like large sections of stockinette in between the color work. So you get a break. You're not always doing color work. It's easier to keep a good tension. Um, I just think they're really beautiful. And I love the name, the Candy Mountain Socks. I totally see why she named these the Candy Mountain Socks because it looks like little mountains going all up the leg and the foot of your sock. Really cute. Another simpler color work pattern for beginners and a great way to use up scraps. So the pattern says holding two fingering weight skeins of yarn, you'll come out to about a sport weight gauge. I would say you could even get away with DK. So if you didn't want to hold yarn double, you could probably knit this up with a sport or a DK weight yarn single, and that would work as well. The gauge for this pattern, I know I didn't say for any of the other patterns, but this one being DK, I do want to state that the gauge is about 22 stitches per four inches. So take that as you will. Some people can do 22 stitches with DK, some people cannot. It's all up to your personal gauge. But the pattern comes in a ton of sizes. Julianne is so good at making sure, I think almost all of her patterns are usable all the way from child through adult. These socks go from toddler to adult extra large. You're looking at about six inches to 9.5 inches circumference or 15.2 to 24 centimeters circumference. And that, my friends, is the final pattern that I have pulled. That is all 15 or 17 if you count the two extra ones in that one bundle. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope that at least one of these patterns stuck out to you. I hope all of them did. I hope your library is full of new wonderful scrappy sock patterns, especially those free ones. Gotta love some free knitting patterns. Um, if you have any other wonderful scrappy knitting patterns that you love, definitely leave them down in the comments below. We can, as we do with these pattern videos, kind of use it as a resource. Come back, see what other people have talked about, see what other people are knitting scrappy sock wise. It's the perfect time to be knitting them in the summer. And yeah, if you liked what you saw today, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. Also hit that like button down below so that it gets the video out to all the other knitters out there. And yeah, I will see you next week for a regular podcast episode. Bye!